the Cinco Vegas A. What's up everybody, Eric here from Tea and Tobacco. Today we're going to be doing a blind taste test of the Cinco Vega A Maduro box press. So let's get to it. All right, so today we are looking at a pretty dark Maduro here. It has a brownish reddish color, has a bit of tooth. It's pretty a flat finish. It's not very shiny or anything like that. Has a little bit of a squishy pack near the foot, but it looks like the box press of this is starting to lose its shape a little bit just at the foot. So that's kind of expected out of, out of this, but then it tightens up as it goes up the cigar. So we're all good there. There is a little crack in the wrapper up here, but that's handling on my wife's part. Or at least I'm going to blame it on her since she's the one who picks out these cigars and takes the bands off. So um, I'm going to go with that. They did a double cap, which looks pretty good. The veins are pretty minimal, but they're there. The seams are not as tight as you'd like them, but overall construction is all right on the outside. So let's uh, get this cut up and we'll get to smoking. So while I'm doing that, be sure to like and subscribe if you haven't already. If you'd like to support this channel, I have uh, Patreon and Subscribestar. Um, I don't know if I'll have to go over to Subscribestar because I know a lot of tobacco channels have because of just terms of service and all that fun stuff. Or if you would like to get a beautiful handmade ashtray by me, uh, you can shoot me an email. My email is in the about tab on this channel various social media is showing up in the corner as well so you can get there also we have a discord channel and i've been trying to get more people in there it's a relatively active community it's basically all of my various projects so i do a wrestling podcast and have a youtube channel for that it's called that's wrestling if you are interested the link's down in the description and i also do some gaming stuff so basically the discord covers Pipes, cigars, tea, gaming, woodworking, wrestling, and uh, we have a pretty good crew in there. It's relatively active for the size of the the audience, and uh, everybody's pretty chill and cool. So it's good to come in there, hang out with us, and also people find deals and whatnot and can post them in there as well. So at the initial light here, the draw, perfect. The things that I've noticed though is since this is starting to heat up, kind of that tension from the box press is being released and we have a bit of a split here on the wrapper. It's actually following the seam. So I don't know how much is actually tucked under that first wrap. So it could just be sliding out from underneath the wrap because there just wasn't a ton of it. Uh, but I will keep an eye on that. I did do a nice toast, so at least the wrapper is holding on to the binder right now, and the binder is fine, That at least what I can see. There's also, because it was only a double cap, the leaf is starting to unwind up here, which is a little bit of an issue. I put a little saliva underneath the leaf and then kind of patted it back down. Hopefully that's enough to rehydrate whatever glue they happen to use. Hopefully there was a little glue there. I didn't really see any residue, but uh, sometimes you don't. And hopefully that holds up. So that's something to just look at. Flavor wise, it's actually very light at the moment. It's actually almost a vegetal flavor, almost some sort of greens, like a like the aftertaste on spinach somewhere around there. And on the retro hill is a sharp note, kind of a bit of a tingling and it really gives you kind of a bit of a cedar punch right there. So I will get back to you in a little bit once this thing settles down from the initial light. All right, so I'm about an inch and a half in here. Flavor wise, it's relatively light, but it is, has a touch of fruit on like the top note and the base is really a dark chocolate flavor. On the retro hail, there's still that sharp cedar note and it turns into a touch of a bit of coffee. The finish on this, very, very short. It does not make it very far five, 10 seconds at the most, but there is no buildup of heat on the back of the palate or anything like that. So it's not spicy at all. It's just very nice and smooth and mellow given it's a Maduro. Usually those are known for being a little heavier, but so far, no, it's actually nice and smooth. So, so far so good. It is running a little bit wavy on the burn, but 
not a big deal so far. It has gone past where the split happened and it looks like we are doing all right now. Uh, the, the wrapper has been able to hold still up at the, uh, the, the head of the cigar. So, so far we're all right. So if anything uh, changes, I'll come back to you in a little bit. Hat of the day today, I'm wearing my Epoch Blue Tweed, I guess it is. A uh, really nice hat, relatively cheap, somewhere around 20, 25 bucks, something like that. Link is down in the description if you are interested. So just past the halfway point here, actually probably a little more than the halfway point, flavors have really started to concentrate, get a lot more bold, and the bright top notes, that fruity, that bright cedar, those are gone, and now we have a really heavy, dark chocolate, coffee, touch of earth in there as well. Still very smooth, no heat buildup on the back of the palate, no spiciness or anything like that. Retro Hale really, really kicks up that coffee flavor and extends out the finish a lot longer than it was earlier. So, so far, pretty nice. Uh, like I said, it's still actually relatively mellow and no heat buildup or anything yet. Very, very smooth. So that's where we are past the halfway point, And I'll probably update you at the end of this thing. So it's getting a little washed out here. Also, the wrapper is really starting to come undone at this point. So I'm going to end it here. Really no flavor change here at the end, just it starts to get washed out. So let's see what this is. I've already taken out of the tube because uh, it was kind of wedged in there and it was the Cinco Vegas A. Uh, I have not had one of these before, so I was pretty impressed. The construction was a little lackluster and actually on this one, the same thing is kind of happening. It actually has the split in the exact same spot as the other one kind of strange but uh and, and it looks like a little rougher but there it is the the cinco vegas a thanks for tuning in everybody to tea and tobacco if you like this content be sure to like and subscribe also if you'd like to support this channel there is patreon and subscribe star down below or you can get yourself a nice handmade ashtray by me if you send me an email that is in the about tab on the page for the channel. So thanks for watching and I will see you next time on Tea and Tobacco. See you later guys.